Okay, so Luma AI is super cool. Everyone's loving it. You know, you can make videos from pictures and stuff. It looks really good. So I wanted to see how good it really is. I made this video like a mini fashion show. It was just for fun, but also to figure out if Luma is worth the money. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I made these little videos with just two pictures. Alright, so for the first picture I went with a shiny gold top, it's sleeveless, and a denim skirt with pockets on the side. I wanted to see if Luma could pick up on those details in the video. And then, for the second picture, I chose a top with like a, kinda like a draped front, and some jeans. I wanted a full body shot this time, to see how Luma handles different clothes. Okay, so we need a starting point, like a basic AI model image. I didn't record the first one, but I did the same thing for the second picture, so I'll walk you through it. I used the level 4 XL model, and for the prompt, I described what the model should be wearing, and the lighting. I wanted it to look like a professional photo shoot. Make sure your settings match the model you're using. I'm using a turbo model, so 14 steps and 2 CFG works best. I sized the image to be 768 by 1024 because the next tool we're using only works with that size. Now, my model is also connected to something called an IP adapter. I'm using four different face pictures, and there's a cool trick where you just tell it the folder they're in so you don't have to load each one separately. If you want to know more about generating faces and IP adapters, check out my other video. It explains everything. Anyway, because I want a full body image, I have to add that to the instructions at the beginning. Alright, let's create the image. We've got an AI model in a studio wearing a tank top and jeans. It's important to start with an image where the model is wearing something similar to what you want your final image to look like. Now let's hop over to IDM VTON Live Demo on Hugging Face. It lets you put any clothes on your AI model. I've actually got two videos about it if you want to learn more. First, we upload our base image, and then the picture of the top we want to use the one with the draped neck. We need to describe it quickly and then use this brush tool to color in the area where we want the top to be. Down here, you can change some settings and then click Try On. Boom! Our model is wearing the new top. Save that image and then load it up again with the picture of the jeans. We do the same thing. Describe the jeans, color in where we want them to be, Oh no, it looks kind of bad. We can try changing the settings until it looks better. But don't worry if it's still not perfect. We're going to refine the image in the next step using Comfy UI. You can find all the resources and the workflows in the description below. Okay, step four is refining the clothes. I know this looks complicated, but basically we're going to make the top, the jeans, and the face look better. Full body pictures need a lot of work, but once you get this, you'll be able to improve your images without having to resize them or anything. First things first, our model is connected to these things called Use Everywhere nodes. That just means we can connect it to anything else without making a huge mess. So we take the image from before and cut out just the top part, Remember, the picture is 768 pixels wide, so we keep that and just adjust the height until we only see the top. Then, create a mask around the area we want to improve and blur the edges of the mask so it looks natural. We should connect our croaked and upscaled image with VAE encoder and a set latent noise masked nodes. Also, don't forget to connect the mask. Next, for the positive prompt, keep it simple. Describe something like, close-up photo of a woman wearing neck-draped tank top. 
In the IP adapter, we load the top piece of clothing image and we use the plus model with high weight value. So everything is connected to a K sampler with a denoise strength of 0.45. After generating, you'll notice that the model's upper body is way better looking now. After that, we need to put our refined upper body on top of the original image. First, since we upscaled the image by 4, we need to downscale it by 0.25, and after that we use a node called Image Composite Masked. To get the exact position where we can put the image on top, we need to connect the X and Y offsets with Image Composite Masked node. We need also to connect the source, which is our generated image, the destination, which is the original image, and lastly, the mask that we created earlier. Now our model's upper body looks way better. We'll do the same trick for the bottoms, but this time, this refined image as base image. Now our upper and lower body is refined. We only need to enhance the face features. I have created earlier this workflow in a previous video, you'll find the link in description. This workflow will automatically detect the face of the AI model and use IP adapter plus face to restore your custom face. So this is the final result. We have improved the image a lot. Upload your image to Luma AI and tell it what you want your model to do. Keep it simple. A good tip is to add slowly or slow motion to get smoother movements. The free version of Luma only gives you 30 videos, and it takes a while because they prioritize the paid users. I know I skimmed over some details, but we covered most of this stuff in my other videos. I really just wanted to show you what's possible with AI and fashion. Honestly, with more time, I could do even better than this, but I'm swamped right now. Speaking of which, I'm working on a big beginner's guide to AI models. Like, starting from zero. I'm explaining everything I know step by step. It should be ready by the end of July. There's a link below with more info, and if you pre-order, you'll get 40% off. Alright, take care, and I'll see you soon.